Miss Lily. Everyone is here. Welcome. So we're done to our part two of our makeup wish list for 2023. So get yourself something to drink and now guys um if you haven't subscribed please i'd love you to subscribe to my channel do all the little youtube things and so you can get on with these videos so guys so 2023 i made my first um my uh, part one of this list so guys if you haven't seen it i'm gonna link it up here somewhere on this video so that you can see you can check that out now my list may be ambitious but guys these are the things that i am really looking towards getting 2023 so do not forget this is January 2023 and then we're going to be going over through to December. Now, uh, it may not be big for certain people, but it is big for me. And there are a lot of makeup things that I want to try out because I want to try things like um, liquid um, bronzers, liquid, um, you know, blushes liquid highlighters i think i have one i thought i didn't have i didn't have any before i had one from a chanel that i got years ago um i used it halfway and i really loved it when i got it i don't know i just stopped using it for some reason so guys um i think i've just tried one before so i really want to invest in a lot of things this year so primers foundations um setting spray setting mist um blushes powders so the list is a huge one now guys uh, we're gonna kick off this one um i'm gonna be looking from the website and some of the things that i downloaded just to bring up on the i'm gonna load the picture so that you guys can see what i'm talking about i might not be able to go into detail talking about each product because guys if we do that then we're gonna be here forever so guys i'm gonna start with the the hourglass ambient lighting palette volume 3 i like that color tone i think it's something that will suit my complexion so guys i think you know i tend to go for neutral colors um like neutral cool neutrals neutrals and then warm neutrals as well um you know i got tons of eyeshadow palette but the more i go into them the more i kind of find my preferences so when I'm looking, I'm going to put it up there for you guys to see. When I'm looking at this Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette 3, I think that this one is going to suit me. I think it might be all shimmers. I don't know. I've never seen it before. Um, but I think I can pop down to my little space and key just to have a look to we'll see what it looks like in real life. But guys, from the color, I think it's going to suit my skin tone. Also, I like the one in the um, Hourglass Ambient Lighting Volume 2. Um volume 2 I think the first one was volume 3 and then this one is volume 2 so this one is a little bit lighter than the first one but guys I think I'd like to have something like this as part of my collection also um, guys I think that this year is gonna see me buying a lot of quartz and a lot of um, you know smaller tone palette so a lot of you know face palettes and stuff like that. I think I'm going to be investing a lot in those in that area then I looked at this nice um, blush bronzer duo. I kind of love the color because I think that it's both a bronzer and a blush. And I love the packaging as well. I think it is cute. So the next one I think I'm going to like to dabble into. I don't know if I'm going to get it. It's the Fenty Beauty Sun Stalk Face and Eye Bronzer and Highlighter Palette. I like that fact because it kind of reminds me of my palette from um, Tarte and the one from Tarte I super love it the color at the end I wouldn't be touching that but I think the first I think the first the middle three colors um, I think those ones will work very well for my skin tone so this is it may be on my wish list the next one I'd love to try out I'd like to have for my collection I love the packaging I love the color tone here is the Kevin Aikoin book the art of sculpting and defining I think it's volume one and um, it's the one with the purple um, you know cover I'm just gonna put it up there so that you guys can see I love the matte I love the the bronzer and the blush or the, I don't know if that's the blush itself but it has like a dual color you know thing going on there then i just like the fact that it has you know, some bronzers here and it got some highlighter as well so i think it's a complete palette so it's got your blush your bronzer and highlighter so i will look into getting this one for 2023 
And next one I'd like to have part of my collection is the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, blush choice. The one with the deepest shade, I don't know what that's called. And then it's got the one in the middle that's like a pinky mauve. And then it's got the little corally sort of color. I like this one and this may be part of my collection but it's part of my wish list for 2023. The next one I like is the NARS Rising Star Cheek Palette. I love all the colors in there. Um, I think the one that I might not use as often is the one, the lightest shade, but that can even go as a setting powder on your lid. So guys, this is one that I would love to get from NARS. The next one I will go into now is, um, I think I'd like to pick up from One Size Beauty. Um, cheek says One Size Cheek Clapper 3D Blush Trade. So I'm gonna list it there. I like this color. I think this would work very well for me. I put, I added another one that's in a darker shade, but I think this might be too dark for my skin tone, which is the Cheek Clapper 3D Blush Choice, so the darker tone, which is more like a purpley mauve tone. Then also, um, I want to pick a few of the Natasha Denona uh, mini palettes. So I look towards getting the nude, the mini nude palette, the five pound palette. Also, I'm looking to get in the um, mini glam palette as well the five pound one I'm just gonna list it there and also I'm looking to get the I think the mini retro um, palette a five pound palette as well then guys we're gonna go into some serious stuff now I've been looking at the Tom Ford shadows for a while but these are four quarts and they're very expensive so I'd like to be part of my wish list for 2023 to pick up a couple. Hope I can find them somewhere discounted. Um, Tom Ford I color quad. So the one called Nude Deep. I super love the color. I'm gonna include it there for you guys to see. Love the neutrals. Um, with something like these guys, you may be getting similar looks because they're kind of similar in color. Just um, so perhaps it's something that you may have to mix with a different palette I don't know but I like this color story also another one from Tom Ford I'd like to add to my collection is golden mink I sort of love the color story here it's got a gold and it's got a brown they all seem to look like really similar and then the disco dust one I like this one as well I think you can achieve a few looks with this little quad um, palette now guys, I want to go into more serious stuff. Now, um, some of the quads, not quad, yeah, some of the quads I'd like to have part of my wish list this year for eyeshadow palette. I'd love to go into Golan. So um, this one, I'm just gonna list them here. Golan Ombres G eyeshadow quad. So I'm glad to pick it up in the color Imperial Moon love the color story i love the fact that it's a cool tone palette and guys we can achieve three looks we can achieve over about four or five looks with this palette if you're very creative i think it's something that you can do and also a palette like this is something that is most wearable for everyday use another one that i really like and i was looking at it is the um one in five five metal butterfly love the color story love the fact that you've got a pinky sort of shade you've got a brown and then you've got something that tending towards an orange a brownie terracotta sort of color and then you have the gold shade i think this is a beautiful beautiful palette let's go now to Givenchy. so Givenchy, i like this one it is called um Givenchy le 90 I don't know it's like an eye nine eyeshadow palette so yeah that's what it says there and this one is in 9.04 I love the color story like it's called um, certain shade that this could be more of a sage color or gray I don't know gray tone it's got a pink it's got a purple I think it's a beautiful beautiful color story it might not be for everyone but guys if you love a good neutral then you would love something like this then from Givenchy um, the next one I'd like to have is the one in the 
again this one is more boring because this one's got like a lot of browns going on like all three browns and two sort of pinky shades but there are two colors there that i really like which are the lighter ones in the middle i love those two ones at the top i feel like that one just makes this palette stand out I'm just gonna check if there's another one you know i so said there's just two from Givenchy. then i'd like to bag myself the bliss astra eyeshadow quartz from pat mcgrath i don't have any of our quartz so i think this year i'd like to pick up a few of them and the celestial odyssey low squad bronze borellis i'd love to pick up this one as well this year from pat mcgrath i don't have like i said i don't have any of our cord then also i'm gonna be i'm gonna try and be very ambitious i want to pick up the this year i'd love to pick up um, two palettes from natasha denona um actually three palettes from natasha denona i'd love to pick up the natasha denona purple palette because it got tons of blues and i love all the shades of blue green aqua that it got that goes on there and then it got some purple and some gold so i'd really like to pick up this eyeshadow palette it was on sales over the christmas board i just felt like i really didn't want to pick it up then but i feel like this year it might be something that is part of my wish list then also um the brown green shade is not something that i definitely like so i'm just gonna i'm gonna skip over that one then also i'd like to pick up the retro palette from natasha denona because i love the I don't have that one but i love the color story from the retro palette the next one i like to pick up by terry i like to pick up the vip expert palette and for Virgil paris and i think it's a nine eyeshadow palette so these ones are smaller palettes they're not bigger palettes i like the color and i like the packaging it's a it's sort of like a boring palette i'm just so i'm just looking at it guys it's got like a gold it got bronze it's got browns but it's like a burnt palette but I look, I'm looking at it now I feel like this is an everyday palette it's something that I can wear every day the next one I want to pick up is from this year uh, this year 06 Paris nude eyeshadow palette I like the color story I like the fact that it's got some pinky nudes and it's got some purple or some um, violet I don't know but I love the I love the color story of this Viseat eyeshadow palette. So I don't own any of the eyeshadows. So I think this is a bigger palette. So I think that this is a way forward for me to go if I want to try their palette because I love the color um, story. I have another one from this year that I want to try out. It's the Viseat 05 Sultry Muse eyeshadow palette. Again, I love the colors. It's got some pink. It's got some browns. It's got some blue. It's got everything. It's got a dark brown. It's got like a like a gold metal color or charcoal color here so guys i feel like with a palette like this it, your looks are going to be very you know versatile so you should be able to create everyday looks out of here you can create looks that you when you want to go out and stuff so yes guys i think this is one of the palettes from this year that i'd like to try this year from your uh, part of my wish list this year is the duo backstage i eye palette coral neutral so i like the colors it's got like a deep shade but your colors are going to be centered around the deep shade so let's not get it wrong there isn't any black or any deep brown it's more of a magenta sort of color but i'd like to pick one of these ones from dior and then also going to dior i'd like to pick the five eyeshadow pan love this color dior five color cut your eyeshadow palette so number five i love the blues i love the green and i think it's got a gold in the middle i'm gonna put the picture up there for you guys to see i went the other day and i was looking at them in real life to see what they look like look stunning and then there's another one i'd like to pick up which is the one in okay so i think i got the color wrong the color is 79 denim that's the color of the first one so the next one i would like to pick up is the color in um just gonna quickly check this color out black bone now this is stunning it's got black it's got some silver it's got something like a pink going up there it's got gold metal i love this palette i think with a shadow like this using it to be a dream so the next one i'd like to pick up is a more neutral or natural color and it's the 
is the 689 Mitza palette. Again, it's the Duo 5 color Couture eyeshadow palette. It's a brand one with the, I don't know if it's a magenta color in the middle. It's got coffee brown, it's got some gold. I like this one, so this is part of definitely part of my wish list. And then I think I, I did, I do like the Duo um, 5 um, pan shadows. So another one I'd like to pick up is this is the 79 Rose Trafalgar. Um Trafalgar. I think it's named after Trafalgar Square. So guys, I like this color. So I literally named all four eyeshadow palettes in this probably in this um in this group. So I like to have all of it because I love the colors, not too much, not too crazy, and you can create certain looks with these ones. So that's good. Lisa Edridge is the next brand I'd like to dabble in. I think um, it'd be fun to, you know, play with her shadows. She's had very positive reviews, so I think that, you know, it's something I'd like to go for. Um, I'd like to go for the One Star 3. Love the color story. I think it's really beautiful. I'm tending to, you know, shy away from the normal browns that I usually get. I want variety in my, eye, you know, my eyeshadow palettes. Also, I'd like to go for the one called Myth. I think it's another stunning um, eyeshadow story, you know, color story. Um, I think it's very pretty. And the last one I'd like to go for is the one called Vega. These three shadows, um, I think I'm going to skip on Muse, but these three shadows are something I'm really looking forward to acquire this year. I um, love the fact that I think our shadows are customizable too. So this is going to be part of my 2023 wish list. The next one I'd like to pick up is the Lacombe Hype Nice Drama Eyeshadow Palette 16 Drama Denim 73. I don't know, not be used to it, guys, but the color here is so gorgeous. It's just like a blue color. It's absolutely gorgeous. It is so beautiful. It says technology. A creamy eyeshadow texture with vivid color payoff and a large range of eyeshadow shades for an intense but comfortable resort. Super like it. I think this is going to be like a very very beautiful you know palette for me to use so yeah that's one of the things i'm gonna enjoy probably using because i love i love a good blue um you know blue eyeshadow so last year i was really considering getting this eyeshadow palette but i decided to get my mothership palette first before getting this one just looking at it it's so beautiful and gorgeous i love all the colors that i see they're bright, vivacious, they look like metal colors, like special shades. I'd really love to get my hands on this eyeshadow palette. It is expensive though, it retails in the UK for £137. Um, I'm going to see if I can get this one on sales. Um, when there's a sales going on, I think I'm going to dab my hands into it. And even with sales, guys, I think it gets it retails for £100. I've seen it before for £100. For £111, for I think that this is a product, an eyeshadow palette that I'd love to get for 2023. From Rare Beauty, I'd like to I'd like to pick up the Rare Beauty Positive Light, Positive Light Liquid Highlighter in the color Transcend, and also in the color Mesmerize. I'd love to pick them two up. So because I found that like using this sort of pinky shade on my skin tone tends to make my skin really pop and i love the sort of glow that it gives me not to incense a little bit soft too also because it's not expensive i'd like to pick up the color and reflect i don't know if it's an orangey shade though but i don't want an orangey shade then also um in the color um in the color enlighten in the color mesmerize i'd like to pick up positive light silky touch highlighter so the one that comes in the round um in the round um, you know case so from rare beauty i'd love to pick up the rare beauty always an optimist illuminating primer so i'd like to pick that one up as well and um, it goes to say this silicone free water based gel primer cools upon contact while it smooths hydrates and eliminates the weightless formula is infused with ultra five plus for inside ratings containing a botanical blend of lotus gardenia and white water lily it helps to soothe a calm stressed out skin so those are things i'd like to pick up from rare beauty the last two items i'd like to pick up from rare beauty would be their volumizing mascara and also their tinted foundation as well so these are my last two items on my wish list from rare beauty 
I'd like to pick up will be It's just like a treasure trove <laughs> It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills powder bronzer Um, you know, I'd like to pick it up in rosewood I think I love that color Then also, I'd like to pick up the um, Laura Mercier blush color infusion blusher in grapefruit also in ginger and then also i'd like to pick up it pick it up in strawberry now going to the foundation i have used this in the past and it's really really gorgeous so i remember in the past when i used to use tart um, foundation tart uh, foundation shape tape foundation it's like a clay based something foundation but when i drawn out i would run to Laura Mercier and i'll get this foundation it's not the same but i love the coverage that it gives me and i feel like this foundation is a little bit dewy i think so so i'd like to get i think the color i used to get back then was let me just make sure uh, it's hazelnut so i used to use hazelnut so i like to get it this year and stack them again because i really love the foundation the laura messia um, foundation when i used it back then and there's always sales it retails for 37 pound and even that like right now i'm looking at it, it's good 20 it's 20 it's going for 22 pound 20. so that's part of my wish list to get this here also i like to get a bronzer from estee Lauder and i like to get the estee Lauder bronze goddess bronzing powder and this one is 39 pound now i got this saved on my wish list on look fantastic so i'm just going there through my wish list to see the things that i really like to get so also i'd like to get the Laura Mercier pure canvas uh, primer um it retails this is the mini one but i'd like to get a full size one the mini one retails for 17 pounds it's on sale for 14.45 another thing i'd love to get is this terry is by terry beach bomb brightening cc palette love the colors love the packaging i think it is really really absolutely gorgeous i think something like this will suit into my um my makeup you know area so i'm trying to i'm going to get here it's going to be where i get my pack system for my makeup um she took taking my christmas tree down and i'm looking to build a pack system at the end of the month i'm going to get someone here and install it because i already have my pack system where i you know my wardrobe but the pack system is very very efficient it is very very good for storage so i like something a place that is well and very well organized so i'm looking to get one of those uh, pack system i don't know here or there i don't know one of here but this is where i'm going to be doing you know my beauty stuff is going to be here so yeah so that's an em empty space so i'm going to be getting the by terry beach bomb brightening cc palette i think it's very gorgeous another thing that i think i wish to try out is the pie pie eye skincare the impossible glow bronzing drops hmm it looks really gorgeous gonna put it up there um let me just go in and see what it says about this one it says um creates a natural bronze look with a pie skin care impossible glow bronze drops drum, bronzing drop infused with naturally not oh, my neighbors are just so noisy infused with naturally derived pigments the buildable formula delivers a customizable glow it is packed with hyaluronic acid and C kept for hydration and lemon fruit water to eliminate. Uh, that is good. The mica is a clever pigment that reflects the refract, refract light, casting a warm, prismatic finish. The bronze drops provide plenty of ways to build and layer your golden hourglow. So, this is something I really look to add into my collection. And it retails for £29, that is £30. So another thing on my wish list is the Yves Saint Laurent Touche Club Blur Primer. I have it in a very small size. It came in a gift bag, I think about a year ago. So I use it occasionally. It does blur and smooth out your pores. So it's something that I'm looking to purchase in a full size this year. So I'd like to get the Laura Mercier Highlighting Blush in, um, what color is this one? highlighting blush doesn't tell me the color though but i'm just gonna put it up there it's like a pinky 
um, yeah it doesn't tell you the color it's just a highlighting blush okay and it's a pinky shade it looks stunning so love the color <laughs> I love the pinky sort of color so I'm more of a pink girl really then another thing I would like to get from Laura Mercier is the Laura Mercier highlighting as a highlighting Laura Mercier translucent loose setting powder light kasha so I'd like to get the shade I think rose reflection and then I'd like to get the Natasha Denona glam face palette in dark not here yeah, in dark dark shade for me it will be the dark shade so it retails for 50 it retails for 54 pounds here in the uk also i'd like to get a baked powder a baked bronzer from inika brand so inika baked bronzer um they've got sunbeam and sun kit so i'd like to get it in sunbeam another thing yeah this is one thing i was looking for before so it's the Givenchy Prism Libre blush so I like to pick it up in a few colors it is only 39.50 so I like to pick it pick it up in the entry voile corral I'd like to pick it up in the um, end for organza I'd like to pick it up in the N6 flannel rubies and then also I like to pick up the Givenchy Libra, I think this one is more of a powder. So I may be wrong, guys, but um, just pardon me. Um, I think it's a powder, correct, corrective powder. So um, N05 Poplin Mimosa. I like to pick that one, and also N6 Dunnan FPC. I don't know, just so pardon me. I may be modern the names. So another thing I'd like to pick up, those are from Jovanchi. So another thing I'd like to pick up from Laura Mercier is the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizing Blush because this is one of the things I said I really want to look towards picking up. And then um, I have said I'm going to pick up the Loose Setting Powder in the color I think Turn Up Rose. Also, I'd like to pick up from Laura Mercier a Laura Mercier Setting Spray. So just to set my makeup. I think I have one but that is just too expensive. I have two of them. They're just too expensive guys to use on like an everyday. They're like 40, 50 pounds or something. So I can't use them things on an everyday basis. So I like also to use something from Rodile. It's the Rodile Bronze Glow Lighter and it retails for 38 pounds. Now um, I like Laura Mercier because I've used their powder. I've used Hourglass Setting Powder, Dio and Laura Mercier in the past. Um, this one is Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder in Blur. So I'd like to get uh, the Translucent Honey Shade. And also, the Golden Meteorite, the Light Revealing Pearls of Powder. I did feature in my first uh, part one of this video that I'd like to get it, but I'd like to get into different shades. So I like to pick it up in this um, shade medium and golden. So I think the before the first one I did was medium, and then this one I think I'd like to pick it up in the golden shade. Oh, I don't know, but I like to pick it up in two different shades. So another thing I want to pick up from Gulen is the Gulen um, lipstick. So I said i was going to pick up one from a different a different line but from this line i'd like to pick one in blush beige um blush beige so it's more of like a nudie sort of tony sort of color if that makes sense so yeah then also for golan i'd like to pick up the golan gold mist setting mist gold mist setting mist gold mist setting mist that's what it says it is 38 pounds for 30 ml i think it's a bit expensive but yeah that's something i like to pick up this year and also i'd like to pick up this year from golden one of their perfumes i used it as well in the past very very beautiful the scent is so beautiful like it, i don't know how to describe it i used to use chloe and then Jado, but I really like this Gulen as well. So this is Gulen Mongolian or the perfume. I like to pick it up in a 50 ml. Um, it's very expensive. 50 ml is 87 pound. 
and then also i'd like to have at least one really high end sort of um, mascara so this gulan matte eyes mascara buildable volume lash five lash is 31 pounds it is quite expensive i'm gonna stick it at the bottom of my wish list but it's something that i'd like to pick up now i think i have mentioned this in my part one of this video the gulan Pyreal Gold Skin 24 Hour No Transfer High Perfection Foundation in the color Warm Dew. So it retails for £65. Now, from Golan as well, because I said I was going to feature, be featuring Golan a lot on this channel, the Golan Terracotta Stylish Shimmer Bronzing Powder. I think this is a more um, recent one. I think this is one of their new ones. So, if I haven't mentioned it before, one of the things I'd like to pick um, is the Natasha Denona Mini Pesto Palette, which is the small one. I look at the, the big palette, I feel like um, I don't think I really want to go there because I think it's it might not just be my color. But when I look at the little one, I feel like I want to try. I want to try the colors because I kind of really like it. Another thing from Natasha Denona that I I forgot to mention um, is the eyeshadow palette, the Natasha Denona Psycho Logo Eyeshadow Palette. I think I like the colors, they're bold. Um, they're bold. I might have to use a different palette to work with this one, but guys, I feel like this one this year I want to get this palette because I love the color story. It is bold, vivacious, and I love that. The next brand I'd like to try is Westman Atelier heard so many good reviews about this brand so i'd love to try their vital skin foundation stick hopefully it's good because these things are very very pricey the next one i'd like to try from this brand is the vital press skincare powder hope i am hoping it does have a lot of skin benefits i don't know if that makes sense because these things are like 70 pounds 69 pounds 70 pounds then the last one i'd like to try out is their westman atelier beauty butter powder bronzer that's why it's called beauty butter powder bronzer so hopefully these all have skin benefits so guys these are the three things i'd like to try from this brand one of the things i've been looking for a long time is the shantika perfect blow finishing powder in medium dark so that is just really high on my wish list i want to get one of those it is expensive it's for 50 pound 50p that is quite expensive. Now, I don't know how good the Shantikai chic shades are, but I feel like I just like the packaging. So I like to pick one of two of those ones. Um, I've been seeing them everywhere, but I don't know if they're really good because it doesn't really have a lot of good reviews on Cold Beauty. So I don't know. The reviews are quite toned down. So I don't know if it's something that I'd really, you know, I'd really want to pick because it's an expensive brand to be honest. Um, but I think the perfect blow powder is something that I really want to try. Also, um, the Future Skin Foundation, I'm definitely going to pick that up because um, I've seen a lot of, you know, a lot of, yeah, a lot of rave people talk about the Future Skin. So I think I'm going to pick that one. Oh, that's so dark. In the color Sultan suntan suntan i just looked at the color cora but that's very um that's very dark so i think between the color banana and suntan i'm gonna pick one of those colors this is expensive it's a really high end once in a year use sort of foundation um it is 75 pound guys it is very very expensive so i definitely am not going to buy that one by myself like it is too expensive i really don't want to use my money to spend on that foundation but this is part of my wish list for this year i'm gonna get that one so we're coming to the end of my wish list so i'd like to pick up the hourglass veil retouching fluid primer which is for 33 pounds and it's 3.2 ml hourglass has a lot of good reviews i'd like to try the clinique moisture surge cc cream spf 30 40 ml so i think i'd like to try that one as well it's really good so i was looking for this in the other website i just found it here so this is the shadow tuberi unisex healthy glow so it retails for 36 uh 36 pound guys this is the last thing on my wish list and as we all know wish lists can be humongously huge 
but then again it's a wish list so you're not getting everything but you try as much as possible to get the things that you really need and the things that work for your skin the thing that works for your budget as well so but you've got like a 12 month period to fulfill your desires so guys this is it from me and um let me know in the comment section below if you have any of the things here because I started off with eyeshadow palettes because the other one, I don't know if I mentioned any eyeshadow palette in part one it was more bronzer, heavy foundations and concealers and stuff I don't know, maybe I mentioned some highlighter but here I touched on the palettes that I really want to acquire this year so obviously as the year goes on they're gonna be brands bringing out new eyeshadow palette i may try some indie brands as well this year but i want to get uh, a few of the natasha denono mini palettes the five pound ones and some of the six pound ones and also i want to go into more luxury eyeshadow palette the tom ford the um, geos as well and uh, i don't know if i find a uh, jovanshi so these are the palettes that i really want to touch and the makeup that i really want to touch i mean guys you only have one face so you have one face to you know pamper now um i'm not opposed as to using drugstore makeup don't get me wrong like i say here i got tons and tons of lipstick from sheen but this is because the lipsticks are still so gorgeous like sheen's lipstick is really really gorgeous and when i wear it no one knows and my my lipstick is from she clan so guys why not but when it comes to layering stuff on my face i really want my face to glow like i'm not a spring chicken i'm getting old and i use um i love skincare i love skincare as well so as the months would go on i would introduce you to my skincare as well because i'm going to be holding some skincare into this onto this channel or in this channel so that guys you guys can see because i think as ladies it is good for us to like look after our skin because no matter how much foundation no matter how much makeup you plaster on your skin no matter how much you like you try to make your skin glow if your skin underneath the makeup is not smooth and nice and supple listen your makeup is going to look caked on this is what i know so for a fact you have to look after your skin ladies so when we talk about makeup 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 just understand and remember that your first priority has to be looking after your skin before you plaster in any sort of makeup that you want to do so guys you can see my skin underneath the makeup is smooth i do not have any acne i do not have no spot on my skin so that's it yes we've got to the end of this video guys i am tired and i'm feeling sleepy but i really really wanted to show this video so this is it from me guys and i will see you here next time um, on my channel so do not forget to subscribe like and share this video and guys have a fabulous fabulous evening and take care and it's bye from your host bye guys